Hello, YouTube. I thought I'd tell you a bedtime story. You know, it being around the holidays. Lots of bad things going on. You know, y'all can see out my window here. Rainy day here in Athens, Georgia. You know, even the birds ain't on the windowsill for the free. You know, raisins, dried cranberries, and uh, black old sunflower seeds today there. So I thought I'd tell you a little bedtime story there. I like telling stories, don't you? I'll tell you a story about the dirty kid. You see, when I was a little kid, you see, I was just a little bit too brown when I was born. Can you imagine that? Just being a little bit too brown? You be too brown, you see, your skin just come out, you know, you dirty, you the newborn. Then you come out and you just a little bit too brown, you see. Well, I didn't know that, you see, as a newborn, as a footland breach, by the way, uh, came out with afterbirth right over my face. Born with a call right down to my chin. Just so you know, number seven child for you number wonders out there. So go ahead and run with that one. And uh, on the dirty kid, my mama, you know, she just pretty much didn't want me at her at, at her I was born. I never understood that, you see. I never understood why you could have a kid and not really want it. I didn't get that. I mean, I was, I grew up in the mountains in North Georgia on a little dirt farm. You know, we was very Appalachian. My brothers, my family, we was hard scrabble. There's eight children in my family. My mother had a baby sister after me. She was 44. You know, we had the boys' room and the girls' room. But, you know, I was a dirty kid. Well, you know, my mama, she'd just take me to anywhere and leave me. For hours, days, weeks, I never knew. You know, I never understood why I was told when I was a kid, don't go out in the sun, you're getting dirty. Well, I thought that was good. You know, maybe I was getting dirty. I liked the dirt. I love dirt. I love planting seed, watching stuff grow. Never watch any ants crawl. Yep. Might learn you folk to know that uh, if you stand on a mountaintop and look down in a big city, can't tell much difference between you and an ant hill. In fact, I always used to wonder if there's much difference. So go ahead and run with that in two. You know, but anyhow, back on the dirty kid, see, I was so convinced I was dirty somehow when I was a kid. I went and got me a bowl of bleach, pure Clorox bleach, in a, in a washcloth, a white washcloth, and I carried that thing out. Went way off in the woods and a, at a five-year-old tried to make myself as white as I know how. Well, I tell you, it wasn't too long until I found the creek. And uh, washed that off and even put a whole lot of Georgia red mud clay on me trying to stop that burning. I never made that mistake again, but never mind, I was a dirty kid, you see. So, you know, on the thing, scheme of things, I didn't understand why my mama, you know, I just didn't look good to her or something, it seemed like, from the get-go. So, you know, I always had a lot of feral in me. I always figured kind of like a feral cat or, you know, a feral animal you know a wild critter i spent a lot of times when i was a little kid just disappearing i spent my first night out alone with a pink a pink polyester blanket at age five in the rain on an august night with my uh, brothers and my oldest sister and my daddy y'all laughing from the front porch while i huddled way down the hill the bottom of the hill in the pasture there in a weed bed with a pink blanket over my head trying to keep the dew off and it was making bets whether I'd spend out the whole night and I did I'll have y'all know so in reality for y'all survival wonders I spent my first night outside alone at age five under a pink blanket in August so you know I guess that's good I learned a little like how to not pee my pants while being alone. That's a real good skill, especially when you age five. I was a bad wetter too, but I sure loved the woods. And I used to be thank nothing and grabbing whatever mama would cook that morning 
sticking it into one of them little brown paper sacks. My daddy put his sandwich in the wax paper bag, you know, and the bag of whatever mama had there for him to go with it in uh, uh, his uh, big thermos full of coffee because my father, you see, worked. He was a machinist, and he was gone long hours, and us kids, you see, we had to take care of each other, and we had to milk the cow, and gather the eggs, and do all the farm stuff ourselves. But I learned, yes, I did. But I was a dirty kid, and I never understood that. And I was wild as a buck. If I'd have grown up nowadays, I guess my mama would have had the, what is it, the wonders who take away your children now, the social services, yeah. Well, I guess my mama would have lost me right off the bat because, man, I was crawling out windows when I was three year old and I'd stay gone till dark and it didn't matter how big the hickory switch was, screw the belt or nothing. Because I was always game for the next day. So y'all go ahead and, you know, don't feel bad about telling me what you did as kids. Hey, I was a dirty kid. I'm good with that though. Hey, I love me. I love me. And I love y'all too. Hope y'all enjoyed my story about myself. Y'all take care. Have happy holidays. God bless you.